Hi guys, it's Ross at foodtravelmusiclove.com. Inspiration from the heart. We're gonna go out for a little drive today. We're gonna to try and find some secret creek. Uh, see what's up in the mountains, see who we can find, who we can meet, and what we can eat. I think these beautiful olive groves everywhere I'm trying to work out what they are I'm pretty sure they're olives that are growing on there they do some lovely lovely um, uh, olive oil here uh, I've taken some back home I'm gonna cook with that do some nice Cretan dishes at home if you're out about driving over here a couple of little tips driving on the right hand side of the road so remember that and you'll see if you can notice behind me kind of like it's um, hard shoulder basically right throughout the, the, the island you have like a hard shoulder um, and that is basically it's not really a hard shoulder it's not really a parking area it's uh, kind of an overtaking area, so you pull over into that and then let people overtake you. Um, there's, there's not really much road rage, to be honest. Uh, it's quite nice, everyone just gets on with it. If I had my walking boots with me, I would love to be up there in them dead clouds. That would be absolutely stunning. So apart from tourism, uh, which is obviously the main income drive on the island, uh, the next after that are the things that feed tourism. So um, there's a lot of honey making, olive oil, um, all sorts of things like that going on. Obviously people producing all the local lovely vegetables and fruit um, and meats and fish. Uh, I love all that sort of thing and I've driven past a lot of that, you know, just, just daily life getting on out of the tourist areas. Uh, and you can see as you come out, more and more of the villages you drive through, there's more just signs just written in Greek, you know, you know that they're just there. Um, they'd obviously welcome tourists, um, but you know, that they're just proper traditional Cretan villages and that's what I like. Honestly, if your idea of going away and seeing another country is sitting in a boozer all day and getting a tan, stay at home, go to the pub, go to the tanning shop. If you can't, get out and appreciate this. Each to their own, really each to their own. But just listen. really keen to get up into the mountains um, but it takes me back a little bit uh, 17 years ago I was here with um, an ex-girlfriend Sam and we got uh, stuck um, on a road just because the roads sometimes just we found got to a dead end and it's too late to turn back even if you're in a tiny little car like I've hired now which is what we had then um, and so you have to be a little bit wary because obviously they were probably just uh, a means to an end they, they were literally I mean nothing nothing at the end of it and nowhere and doing a three-point turn at the top of a mountain is uh, pretty scary stuff so I might stay down here I might stay down here I think just look for a taverna One life in tune They must have known I was coming. Got a little mask of me. Our solid bond has taken years. I know our love can't be the same. I'll turn a blind eye to your gaze. Even though it kills to stand.
Okay, so I was just chatting to um, uh, the, the guy here that sort of looks like he runs this place and it's like um, an event, kind of um, a really special, cute looking kind of event village uh, where they um, put on sort of cretid nights. Um, obviously they've got the stage in the background there so they do dancing and things and, and entertainment um, and obviously they'll put on some food. It, it sounds lovely that. I'd like to be here on a night when that sort of thing's going on. Uh, if you can find this place, it's beautiful. Um, out sort of in the middle of nowhere but that's perfect. It's like um, the little museum bit you can see there is obviously showing some typical Cretan life and some of the things that they do. Uh, obviously the, the wine cellar area um, and as you can see there as well the honey making. Uh, I was mentioning that um, Crete is quite famous for its honey here and uh, they do have a lot of honey making things going on. So um, this is absolutely lovely. I'm really glad I stumbled across this place. I'd be guessing here but I imagine these little buildings here um, are to show you an example of uh, kind of day-to-day -day natural Cretan life so maybe they're like kind of uh, little mock houses um, or there may even be like guest accommodation so you may even be able to stay here and properly live the Cretan way for a few days um, I love it absolutely love it I feel a little bit like winning a poo at the moment, stuck in the honey pot. Absolutely fantastic place this. Absolutely love that. Brilliant. So uh, I've managed to find my way back to the um, Maris Taverna. Uh, it's about 15 minutes outside of Asonisos, out in the country. Uh, you can see we've got the Taverna behind me, some lovely lamb cooking away, an absolute countryside everywhere. Uh, you can see they do some local cheeses, um, honeys and things. There is actually a sign on the main road, which I didn't realise. I came across, across this place by complete accident, but uh, there is a sign up on the main road. But we're literally on our way out towards the other side of the island, uh, but only about 15 or 20 minutes out of Asonisos. So it's easy to find Find, but it's kind of nicely out in the middle of nowhere at the same time. Thank you. Ah, it's in English, okay. Oh well, okay, so you can see here it's kind of like an order form style. Um, it's kind of like, you know, American diner sort of style, but I kind of like that. So you literally just tick off what you want. Um, starters already I can see, there's a variety of cheese. Cheese Saganaki, I had that in um, Sissy. That was really nice down there. Standard price is kind of four or five euros. Um, and then you've got different meats. Goat and white wine. Do I have goat with white wine? See, I've got to try something different. I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. I'm never ever gonna think about ordering goat. Um, probably anywhere else. Uh, so I certainly wouldn't be cooking up a goat at home. Let's put it that way. So when there's something like this, it's obviously what the locals eat. I wanna, I wanna eat like a local. To be fair, I'd like to look like a local as well. I'm a little bit lily white. I've been here 10 days. I'll tell you what, if I come again now, I've got to have that lamb next time. I've got a feeling though that that won't be ready yet. That probably won't be ready for dinner. They obviously put it on now and get that kind of slow cooking throughout the day. So oh, I've got to come back to do a, a Crete number two. So where we drove to yesterday was kind of pretty much to the other side of the island um, where I was doing my random Michael Jackson moves in the middle of the road. That was, uh, you know, once you came, once you looked just over the other side of the uh, kind of the mountains there, you'd be able to see the southern side of Crete, which is really, really untouched down that side. Um, there's hardly any uh, tourist areas at all. All the tourist areas seem to be at the north. And that seems to be the way with a lot of islands. Um, all the tourist areas seem to be north or south for whatever reason. Um, but if I do come back another time, I will come back and I'll do the, uh, I'll do the south side and do a little bit more of that. Cheers. Mm. If the Coke Zero is good, you know the food's gonna be good. So if you're thinking of coming in October, weather-wise for me, it's been kind of anywhere between 20 on kind of rainy, cloudy days, up to like 27, 28 at least. Uh, you know, and there's been a couple of days where people have been sunbathing. Um, and yeah, it's, it's a good time of year to come, I think, because it's still nice and warm, it's, and it's out of that absolute, you know, manic hustle and bustle of kind of August and July. Prices for this place, um, it's 150 for a drink, a soft drink, coffees were 253 euro, uh, the goat 
um, is nine euros, I think. If I went for the lamb, that would have been 13 for a standard portion, or they do it by the kilo, the same with other meats and things. So uh, it's pretty standard prices, really. But it goes to show that, you know, inflation, and I mean, Greece were in a massive recession up till like three or four years ago, and obviously all the locals are paying, um, you know, 29 euros per kilo of lamb. So it's a good sign, really. I'm not saying it's not a good sign. I want a Jeep. What I love about coming to these tavernas is you can tell straight away that they're nearly all independently owned. A lot of the produce comes straight from their own farms or families' farms and they're just family orientated. I was speaking to the owner of the Tarantella um, a couple of days ago uh, and he said that he was really struggling after Covid, not with the lockdown because their lockdown wasn't as, as big here and they relied on locals coming into the restaurants but he, it's the same as everywhere else in the world, staff. He said he just can't get the staff now. Um, so, you know, he had his sons there working, just working overtime, putting as much in as possible. But it's a weird impact of the COVID and lockdown that people can't get staff. That isn't something that I think people would have envisaged happening. In a weird way, I quite like the idea of the food taking a little while to get here because it shows that it's being cooked fresh, doesn't it? Um, or they're popping out to spa to get it. This is, I've got a knife for you. Oh, well. Oh, look at that. Now, oh, that is very, very different straight away to the cheese sakanaki I had um, at Mike's Bar. Not in a bad or good way so far, you know, from an aesthetic point of view. Uh, it's just different, it's like a pastry. Oh, okay, so it comes with two massive big wedges of, oh, that's really good quality bread there as well, you can tell. Oh, I'm gonna get into this. Oh, it's, it's proper nice and crispy that. Right, let's go. Oh, I can already smell that cheese oozing out. Oh yes. Look at that. Proper like split right open, all the melted cheese and that in there. I mean this is a heart attack. It's a heart attack on the plate. And it's only the starter. Oh that is proper naughty. Oh my word. <laughs> Oh, that is just, it's just packed full of really good quality tasting local cheese. Oh. Well, they put some lime there, so obviously it's what the locals do, so I'm going to stick a bit of lime on it. I was worried about my eyes then. Always got these on, haven't I? Don't need to. I'll tell you what, I think I'll try it with a little bit of this bread as well. Essentially, I'm having Greek cheese on toast. Mm, got a bit of the lime in there as well. Mm. Oh, that is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Nice, proper, spongy, good quality bread there as well. Mm. <laughs> There's no way the locals eat this every lunchtime for starter. They'll be the size of Pavarotti. Oh, that lime is a really, really nice touch. I like little combating flavours in your mouth. I'll find out in a minute or so. No, that was for the goat. Mm. Well, thank you. Well, okay. So the goat's out as well. It's served on like, um, it's served on like a bed of chips. Mm. Okay, it's got a weird smell goat. Um, I mean, I've never really been that close to a live goat, and I've never eaten a dead one, but you wouldn't eat a live one. I've never seen a goat. So while the goat's here, it says in white wine, I think it must be cooked in white wine, like a slow cooked thing in white wine, because there's no sauce here. Um, do anything chips seem like an odd thing to have with it? Um, seems like an odd kind of um, companion for some slow cooked goat, but I won't knock it. Let's see if I made the right choice. Oh, that is that is so different. You have to get over that. If you can get over that, because it is something I'd normally order uh, for a certain reason. Um, but if you can get over that, uh, oh, then that is actually really, really quite nice. Literally, the first chip. There won't be many Brits that come to Crete, and after 11 days, it's the first time they've had a chip. It's quite 
Yeah. Quite a fatty part of me. I didn't expect that from a goat. They're not particularly fat animals, are they? Um, but it is it's quite, quite um, it is quite a fatty cut. But obviously, a fat goes into the flavour a lot. Mm. Oh well. Ah. Yeah. Oh, see that was that was much nicer that bit actually than the first mouthful. Coming out and trying these things is what it's all about. You haven't got to like them. Nobody can punish you for not liking stuff. Um, but, you know, give it a go, try it. Otherwise, you know, you'll die not trying a goat. Hmm, it's a little bit disconcerting. I can literally hear a lamb in the background. <laughs> can you hear that? Hmm, slightly rubbing it in a little bit, innit? There's three barbecuing behind me. I probably prefer the cheese saganaki over the goat, actually. Um, just because the flavour's a little bit, just a little bit too different for me. Uh, but, it's all, it's all about picking off the right bitch. If you see a bit, and you've got a lot of bone on there, just, you know, pick it about a little bit. Or just get it in your gob. A lot of people just do that, and that's fine. But otherwise, don't, like, waste any, because it's really, really nice quality, nice quality meat. I mean, I've got to eat it. One of his cousins is barring at me over there. I'm getting more and more used now to the flavour of the goat. Um, and a lot of it is just falling straight off the bone, which is good. I'm always a little bit squeamish about getting um, getting too much gristle and that in my mouth. Everyone's different. I like trying anything at all, which is why I do the job I do. But I don't want the things in my mouth that I don't want to be in there, which is fair enough. So yeah, this is really, really good. Really good quality stuff here. You can tell it's all local. You can't get any more local than hearing the animal over there and then seeing it on the plate. I'm not sure I like it quite that local. Um, but jokes aside, it's uh, it's really really nice food. If I was doing this, I probably would have thought it might have gone better like in a light sauce with some rice. But you know, I'm not a Greek restaurant owner. Hmm. I forgot to say actually, for a chip, the chips are actually pretty good quality. You know, I always think. You know, I don't, I don't like to really comment too much on chips unless I went to a specific chip shop. I'm gonna show you that because the chips are chip. If you get a chip wrong, close down. Well, once again, the beautiful Cretan food has beaten me. Um, it was really, really good quality stuff here. I'd like to try something else on the menu. I'd probably like to have tried something else on the menu anyway. Um, if I'm totally honest, I don't think I'd probably order goat again as, as something that I'd have um, from anywhere, not just from here. Um, it was interesting, I liked trying it. Some of the flavours were absolutely beautiful, but just something a bit too different for me maybe. Uh, but the, the, definitely the Saganaki was lovely, the bread was really, really beautiful, and it was just nice trying something different and being out in this environment. This is a lovely, lovely, lovely taverna here. It's absolutely beautiful. So they have got three or four lovely looking desserts here as well, but I think I'm absolutely stuffed. Um, I'm uh, well eaten here. Creek's treated me well, and definitely the Maris Taverna has treated me well as well. Um, but this road hasn't, because there hasn't been any cars for the last 10 minutes since I put the camera on, and now there's literally an absolute motorway of vehicles going past. So yeah, definitely get yourselves down here if you're over in Crete. I can always uh, let you know the directions if you want to send me a message, that's no problem at all. I like to get people out to these places that I'm enjoying and working at for you. It's definitely hard work, definitely. I hope you enjoyed that. I definitely enjoyed it. It's been a really, really good day. Ross, foodtravelmusic.com, inspiration from the heart. Thank you. I wanna stay with you.